Today I'm going to show you guys how to have these beautiful landing pages for your WordPress website with the DV theme. Now these are all pre-made templates. Everything's already done. All the hard work is, you know, all you have to do is just um, upload the file and then add in your content and everything's already done. Now these are really cool and creative uh, uh, landing pages. These can also be just, you know, your basic page, your about us page. They have pricing tables. Now this right here is a sales page. And like I said, it's just a template. So you download it, you upload it to your website and all the hard work is already done. Now these are some of the big benefits of using the DV theme because the funny part is that this is actually not created by uh, elegant themes. These are actually made by actual fans who have the uh, theme and have uploaded their pages for people to use. So that's really cool. And there's a lot of support with the DV theme. Now this is the About Us page and it's a really cool About Us page. And when I uploaded this, there was actually some small errors these guys did, coding errors. Uh, but don't worry, <laughs> I'm here. I'll help you guys fix that if you wanna use this. And um, it's a really cool about us page. It's really unique. There are supposed to be text here. So I'll show you guys how to put that in. And there are so many other layouts, guys. There's pricing tables, contact us pages. There's so much stuff you guys can get for free. It's crazy. So right now they're doing the 100, day, 100 days of DV and it's like a marathon. It's like a, a, a huge marathon they're having. Every day they're releasing new content. So when I saw this, I said, I have to show my viewers. This is this is amazing, you know, it's, it's really cool. So this is the blog page and don't worry, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check out this blog page. Also, if you guys wanna purchase the DV theme, you guys can click on the link in the description and it'll take you to the page. You guys will get a free 30 day money back guarantee so you don't really have any risk, you know, of buying this theme because they update it every day. I mean, fan submit stuff. It's just such a highly uh, populated theme. It's everybody loves it. It's really, really cool. So really quick right here. Uh, if you go down right here, it'll say you can download the pack here for free. Not to worry, guys. I'm going to link this in the description. I'll link this page in the description. And these are freebies. So as I said before, all you need to do is go to discover freebies. And they have this page free right here. So these were all created by people who, who who have, uh, I guess you wanna say, a lot of love for the DV theme. And all these right here, like the split background, this contact form, the pricing tables, this opt-in form, you can just download these and use them on your website. And they're really cool, they're really unique. And like I said, they're all made by, by people who submitted them. So that's you know really cool to know. Now, all you need to do is just put in your first name and your email address, and they will actually send you in the entire lot of all of these uh, of all these layouts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in Daryl Wilson. Now I already entered something in here, so it might not let me do it. So you're gonna enter it in like that. You're gonna put get the free resources. Once you do that, you're gonna get an email from them. And it should look something like, like this right here. So you're gonna get an email like this. And if you're using Gmail, make sure to check your promotions tab because that's where I found it. I first I thought it was going to spam, but, but no, it just went to my uh, promotions page. So uh, go ahead and click on this right here and they have all of these layouts that you guys can use. Oops, sorry, wrong page. They sent me two, so it's on the other one. So this one right here, and all you need to do is just download these. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, download maybe three and show you how to do it. Now, some of them have specific methods on how you upload it, but don't worry guys, it's very easy and I'll show you how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay, I want um, I want this one right here, the split background. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Now right here, it comes as a zip file. So you guys actually need to open this zip file. So you guys can click on show in folder. And if you're using a, um, if you're using a PC, in order to unzip it, just right click and use it, uh, open it with uh, Windows Explorer. So um, you open it like that. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Uh, let me see here. So I downloaded it. Let me see if I can find it. I actually already, you know, downloaded all these. So it's, it's. Uh, <laughs> I downloaded quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this, and I will put this um, right here. I'll just drag it right here for you guys. So here's the file right here, okay? Now I need to unzip this. So I'm just gonna double click on this. And like I said, if you're on a PC, just right click, use the Internet uh, uh, Explorer to open it and drag out the JSON file, okay? So now you guys can see right here, I have the site background folder. Just double click on this and what you want is the JSON file. This is what you need to upload, okay? So simply just drag it out, just like that. Replace, sure, why not? 
Okay, so I've actually had quite a bit up here. So these were all the ones I had earlier. So um, apologies if it looks really, really messy. Now, in order to upload that that JSON file, so we can just, I'm just going to go ahead and grab one like this. So I had the, um, which one did I have? I had the split background, right? I'm going to go ahead and close these. So the split background image. So this is it right here. Okay. So um, in order to do this, you need to go ahead and open your theme. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a new page. I'm just going to start from the beginning. So add a new page. Oh, like this. Okay, pages, add new. There you go, add new. Okay, great. So I'm just making a new page. And there's two ways to do this, guys. So you want to go ahead and just, I'm going to put a title right here, uh, template six. And if you guys want, you guys can actually check this out on the website on paddywack2.com to get a preview of these. So go ahead and click on use the DV builder. Now, there are two ways to do this for this, and some are required. So I'm going to click on these arrows right here. And you need to click on import. And if you've noticed right here, this only accepts JSON files. OK, so you need to make sure it's not a zip. It has to be the JSON file. Go and click on choose the file. So I think I did. Um, I don't know which one did I did. I did the I have so many because I did this before. The split background image dot JSON or split background like this right here. OK, so I'm going to upload that. And go to import DV, import DV builder layout. Okay, great. So I got the check mark. It looks like everything went well. All right, so it is loading. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click on preview. And there you go. So I actually uh, I mixed these up. Sorry guys. <laughs> I mean I there was two of them, so uh, I, I downloaded the wrong one, but that is exactly how you do it. So I'm going to show you guys the other ways to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and um, I'm just going to close this again and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to open up right this right here and go to import. Now, some you can't do it like this. You'll actually have to go to the library like for the um, uh, for let me see which ones the diagonal overlay. Let me see if that one works. All right, so it's uploading. See how it says this file could not be imported to this context. So that means you have to use the DV library. So in order to do that, just go to DV and go to DV library. I'm going to leave this page. I'm leaving that page. Rest in peace. And just simply go to import and export. OK. And I'm going to go ahead and import this. Choose the file. And I'm just going to type in um, was a diagonal. Diag. Diagonal overlay. So I'm just going to use this one right here. Just like that. Oh, no, that's a, uh, a sorry. I messed up. That was a zip. Remember, you guys cannot use zip files for this. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and just go to um, uh, was it my desktop. So my desktop right here, diagonal overlay section JSON. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and double click on that and go to import DV builder layouts. All right, so now it works. All right, so you're going to get a page like this right here. And all we need to do now is go upload it. Now, in order to upload it, it's going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to go up here to go to plus page. And I'm just going to put, you know, templates and then use the DV builder. Now, I want to click on add from library this time right here. So I'm not going to use this method. I'm going to use add from library. And as you noticed, I have them all saved right here. So diagonal overlay layout. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that and close this. And now I'm going to click on preview. So now you guys have seen that uh, this is how you do the optional way because there's two ways to do it, guys. So if one gives you an error saying that you can't do it like that, um, that is the other way to do it. Now, let's go to that about us page. The, the person who made the about us page actually um, included some wrong CSS coding error. And I looked at it and I immediately knew that it was not supposed to be like that. So in order to do the about us page, you'll have to go back over here and just download the about us page. So the uh, the about us page right here, you guys can um, download that from your uh, freebies right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it right here. So about page template. OK, so it downloaded right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and just drag this out. Now I want to double click on this. And there you go. So now I have the folder. Now I just want to open this folder and I want to drag out the JSON file. Now make sure it's just the, the about us JSON. We don't want this about us customizer. We just want the JSON file. So I'm going to drag it out and I'm going to replace it. 
All right, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, upload that file. So I'm going to go up here and just put in template, use the DV builder, load from library, add from library. Oops, sorry, I have to import it. So let's see if there's two ways to do this. So like I said, there's this way and there's the other way. Now, I've actually used a lot of these and some don't work with this method. So if this does not work, use the DV library, okay? So I'm gonna click on import and export, import, choose file, and I need to find the about us, so right here, the about us layout JSON, and I'm gonna click on import DV builder layout. All right, it's uploading. All right, cool. So it is finished uploading. This one does take a little bit of time. Okay. So great. Now I'm just gonna go and preview the page. I just I uploaded it and it's gonna look something like this. Now, if you've noticed, it's missing a lot of stuff. You know, it looks blank, and that's because the person who uploaded this entered the wrong CSS class. So it's very easy to change, guys. All you need to do is just click on these little text boxes, go to custom CSS, and then just delete this. That does not need to be there. Now click on save and exit, and then click on preview. And now you're gonna see that the text appears. So the person who uh, did this right here entered in the wrong custom CSS, and now he has that error. So all you need to do is just go through all of these right here and just delete them. Delete them, delete them, delete them. I don't know why that person put them there. He might've had a reason to put them there, I'm not sure, but um, it does not work if that is like that, so just like that, and now go to preview pages. And now you guys have seen that the entire page now has content, it's starting to look really good, guys. So um, that is how you guys upload these files. So let's do another one. Let's just do another one just to make sure that you guys fully understand on how to do this. So I'm gonna go back over here to my email, and I'm just gonna pick another one. I'm just gonna pick, um, you know, I clicked on this one, I just couldn't find it. So split background, I'm gonna download that again. So split background, this was the one I originally tried to find. So I'm gonna drag it over here again. All right, so split background, I double clicked on it. And remember, if you're using a PC, you need to right click, open it or open with, open it in Explorer and drag out the JSON file, okay? So split background two and then split background. And I'm just gonna go to replace again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this one, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna go over here to add a new page. Yeah, leave it. I have to leave this page, guys. Sorry. You guys get the idea, right? I'm just not gonna save that because uh, you guys can check out this um, this uh, this website. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can uh, take a look at that. So I'm gonna close all these other boxes too. I have too many boxes open. Okay, my page is taking a little bit longer to load. Okay, maybe there was some sort of error. Yeah, I had to just close that, guys. Sorry. So I'm gonna reopen it again. And I'm just gonna go to over here, under over here under page. Sometimes you guys get errors like that, you know? Like, I, trust me, I, I get them too. Everyone's thinking like, oh, Daryl, you don't get any errors with WordPress, and I do. Like, how do you do that? I'm like, no, I get errors all the time. It's, it's, uh, it's just part of WordPress, really. So I'm gonna go over here, and what was the file called again? It was called the split background. So the split background, that's it. So over here, I'm gonna click on these arrows, click on import choose the file, and we wanna find just split background, okay? So this time we're gonna get it right. We're gonna get it right this time. Split background, no, we need the we need the JSON file. There it is, split background JSON. So let's see if this uploads like this. Now I'm gonna import it and see if this works. Okay, so that works. And remember guys, you need to use the DV library if it doesn't work on this page, okay? Because for some strange reason, uh, some of them work and some of them don't. So I'm gonna click on preview now, and now we have this beautiful page, but we can get more creative than this, guys. So we can actually say, okay, we have this page because the DV theme is all about being creative. That is the whole purpose of this theme. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what? Maybe I wanna duplicate this row, you know? And then maybe you can put a different image right here. So I'm gonna preview it now, and I've duplicated the row, and I've created this like illusion of like the, the, the screen being split in half. You see how that works? So it looks really cool. Um, like I said, it's it's a great freebie for you guys, and there's gonna be a lot more that they have coming up. So uh, be sure to check out these templates, guys. They're free to download. All you need to do is just give them your email, 
and then from there you guys will be able to make these beautiful landing pages okay and um go ahead and give me a like and subscribe guys and uh, let me know what you guys think if you guys have other websites where they have templates or you want to talk about the db theme please feel free to let me know because i use it for my website if you go to my website darylwilson.com this website was made with the db theme oh i have clef on here so let me get my phone out really quick and if you go to my other video with my top 11 plugins I actually have this as rated number one because I don't want people having access to my stuff. You know, I, I don't want them uh, to be using my um, my password. So I have to open my phone and now I have to scan the barcode right here. Now it's gonna open up, boop, just like that. So if you guys are looking for something like that, get Clef, it's the most secure plugin ever. So if I go to visit my website, this is all made with the DV theme, guys. So like I said, the reason why I love the DV theme so much is because your imagination is everything. It's all about creativity. Sure, you can go to another you know, theme and it just looks like a template. You know, There's only one thing you can do with it. But this, if I go to my edit page, it's like building blocks, guys. It's just uh, limitless on what you can create as long as you have an imagination. So if you don't have an imagination, you know, like this is my front page right here. So it is a lot of work, but I had to really think about it when I created it. So that's it for my video, guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys all later.